We've got a lot of work going on aboard this 53 foot boat. We've got some trim tabs that they're having to figure out is it an electrical problem or the electrical hydraulic pump issue. You can see the rudder here has been painted with a Interlux 2000 barrier coat primer and that zinc is an old dead zinc but it's actually just in place as a placeholder so they do not paint the rudder metal where the zinc is supposed to make contact with the metal itself. Note that the two nuts that's called a half nut, that's called a whole nut. Contrary to what you may think, the half nut goes on first and the whole nut goes on second. Now we've got a cotter pin right there just in case they decide to unscrew. That's painted and primed. We have a V strut here, like the letter V. And inside here you can see the new black insert that's a cutlass bearing. That's the old zinc, which is a placeholder. And this is a coupler. The shaft is so long that it's really not a one-piece shaft, but it's a two-piece shaft. And this is the coupler. That's the after shaft, and that's the forward shaft with an eye strut. And there's another brand new cutlass installed in here. And then look up there, you can see the forward strut there's three struts on this boat and there's a new cutlass installed in that also. You can see some areas where the boat's been ground out right here. These were blisters, very small blister, a couple of more down there. They've been ground out and allowed to weep for the water that permeated into the fiberglass to drain out or weep out. See, we've got a bigger one. We've got about 15 or 20 of them up here on the bow. And you can see this is an old one that was patched some time ago. That's a good patch, but some of the other patches were bad, so they've been ground out. And you can see there through one, two, three coats of bottom paint, and then barrier coat, fiberglass, fiberglass, fiberglass. So we dug down deep, maybe a quarter of an inch, and that's only a guess. So those will be filled in with an epoxy putty, resin, and then put back together, painted with a barrier coat, and then painted with the blue anti-fouling paint that you see there. Cruising on back on the starboard side of the boat. See the ladder going up? Important to note that the ladder is tied so it doesn't fall down while you're up there. And you can see the starboard shaft with the first strut, second strut, the shaft coupler, the V strut, and then the rudder again, just like on the port side. And you can see this trim tab is retracted and pulled up inside, so they've got this one working, but still have some problems with the port side. This will not retract. So it might be that this ram itself is bad and needs replacing. When you buy an older boat, especially if it's been a dock queen, you can expect to make repairs like this. Another thing I want to point out, there's no swim platform. Swim platform's missing because it was rotted and we had to take that off. And it's over across the boat yard at the fiberglass tent being repaired over there. I can show you the stern of the boat because there's no name on it. There's so many names on the back of this boat, 1980 boat, that they actually had to go down to the base coat and repaint only the stern so we can get a good name on the back of the boat, on the transom of the boat. But we're not going to spend any money or time doing the sides of the boat. That would just be cost prohibitive. So we're painting the stern of the boat putting the new name on the stern. If you want to learn more about boat yard repairs, what you can expect to have to do to buy a boat and then make the repairs to get it to the condition that you want, look us up, ask Captain Chris.